What's up guys, my name is Justin, welcome back to the channel, today we are back on iRacing for NASCAR Legends 87 series at Watkins Glen. I am terrified, I have no idea what I'm doing, I don't even know if we need to make a pit stop, I assume it's going to be no tires just because of how the road tire works, but I uh, wanted to get this in, wanted to give this a whirl sometime this week, so here we are, we're going to try it. Um, Daniel Costa's in here, he's going to be fast, he's going to be very fast. Uh, Marco is here, Matthew Levin is here, um, Daniel Fogelberg is here. Um, couple other people I'm sure. Keegan's here. He's usually fast in 87s, but I don't know what his road racing is like. So we're going to give us a whirl. Hopefully it goes well. I'm going to send all of them a, a message and say good luck, and I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, we'll see what we got here as far as a group. No Daniel Costa, actually. There's a Marco, there's a Matthew Lewin, and a Keegan, but no VMAX. Dang it. What are we going to do? Well, we'll see how we do. We'll see what Marco and Matthew have for long run pace. We are going to be the one car. Probably give back some of that ironing we just gained from uh, PCC you saw yesterday and the Nurburgring ring that we lost the other day. Uh, well, a week ago now, but... Yeah, so we're going to see how this goes. I just wanted to get racing. We'll see how it goes uh, pace-wise. I feel good about putting laps together. Again, Fogelberg's probably pretty good, 1,700. I hope I'll be okay. We'll see what Keegan has. Marco should be fast. Matthew, I know, is fast. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to play it by ear. Hopefully, we can get out here at the top five at the minimum. Um, and I'd love to be able to contend at the front, but, again, it's not quite that simple. There's more to it than that, so... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give it a whirl, and we'll see how this goes. Um, obviously, we're the one car... Out of 14 is how many we ended up with. We're going to put the brakes back two clicks. I, I don't, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea if that's good or correct or what I want or anything, but that's what we're going with, so. Just my usual default paint scheme, no paint scheme I got for the 87 here. So Daniel's a three car at 1700 road. Again, Keegan's very good at 87s, but we'll see how he is on the road course. And then Matthew was very fast in practice, and is usually fast in the 87s as well. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. Hope we uh, can stay clean here. Survive is gonna be a big part of this. Obviously, very easy to make a lot of mistakes around here. I would expect Marco to be good. Unfortunately, uh, Costa didn't join us. I don't know if he had something come up or what. Yeah, I'd expect Marco to be fast. We'll see what Keegan has. I know Matthew's fast, but again, it's about not dying as well. And I don't know. I don't even know if we have to pit in this race. I honestly have no idea. So we'll just have to check fuel halfway and see how that goes. But. So yeah, <laughs> we're going to just give this a whirl. I assume first lap is going to be the lap for Q, so we'll just prep as if we're going to run the first lap and then we'll just run two, I guess. But... I am literally so scared. Like, Darlington in my first race. This is only my second ever 87s race. Hopefully it's fun. But literally in my first race at Darlington, I was I was scared. But we won the pole somehow. Lucky lap. But I knew what I was getting into there because I was very, I'm very good at Darlington. And I just knew that, you know, being patient and slow with is what you need for this car is how you just drive Darlington normally anyways. So we didn't quite have the pace there. But... I do enjoy that car track combo and I enjoy this. I'm just, I don't have enough laps. I have like five or six laps total. And again, we'll just have to see how it goes. So I, got, I really got to shut up and focus here for this Q lap. So I'll be back in a little bit.
Felt like it was a pretty good first half. Get these last two corners right, hopefully. Come on, Justin. Still don't think it's going to be a great lap, but it's at least a lap. See how it shakes out. Fourteen flat. A little bit too much rotation there in turn one. It's okay. It's gonna happen. I guess not dead's gonna be key, so can rest on that at least. So. Fourteen one for Lewin, fourteen three for Daniel, fourteen four for Marco. Keegan at fifteen. Let's see if anybody picks up lap two. I will not be because I blew turn one, but we'll see what this is just for reference sake. Turn one's gonna be my problem corner. It's just so tricky. I mean, there are only like four corners here, I guess, but. Still tricky to get in turn one effectively without spinning and sliding. So that's where I'm going to have issues. 14-7, so that's honestly not awful. Let's see what everybody else puts in. Fogelberg still on his second lap. Uh, looks like our net 7, 11, and 14 still have to go. Oh yeah, I guess uh, this front four here are going to be fast guys if they don't make mistakes. So I feel confident we can run sub-15s on good laps. So field will get extremely spread. There will be mistakes. There will be spins and instants. But um, yeah, we're just going to have to try our best to survive and get through it. I expect Matthew to be fast. I expect Marco to be fast as well. Let's see what their second laps were. Didn't run a second lap for Matthew. Daniel went next to his second lap. I think Marco's second lap didn't happen. So, yeah, I don't know if uh, if I know enough what I'm doing here to be competitive. But, I mean, we won the poll, so I guess that's a good start. We get to control the first couple of corners here at least. So, yeah, I guess it's just not, not die. And then uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can be in contention for a top five. Minimal mistakes is going to be good. If we can go without any spins or big slides or anything like that, I think we'll have a shot at top five for sure. Field of 14, we'll probably have traffic here. Again, no idea if we even need fuel or anything in this race. So we'll have to adjust that on the fly as well. Keep that in mind. We'll have to do some math here at the end of 13 laps to make sure we're good on fuel. See what our increments are. Waiting on the 14 car to finish his laps or attempt his laps or whatever. Dane is not connected from New York. Uh, Mexico is on hill. Canada for David. Scandinavia for Do uh, Daniel. And Italy for Marco. Otherwise, we got Americans in here. Nobody else from Midwest, if I remember correctly. I am scared. I am very scared. Yep, I know what the rules are. I don't have restart zones or anything like that. 
No weather, obviously, yet. Uh, this would be insane in the rain. 87s here would be insane in the rain. I just want to point out iRacing. Thank you. Uh, track is dry. That's good. <laughs> Pretty high usage, though, based on the carryover. 118 TT. Still waiting on the one guy. It's all good, though. He's like 200 I rating. So it's all good. We're going to take the poll here today. So I guess technically I'm two for two on 87 polls in my career to go along with Darlington. So maybe maybe I'm just an 87's hot lapper and you can just start calling me Kale Spicer. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I am mostly ready. Again, survival is going to be key, not overshooting turn one. Uh, you basically get, it seems like, one good lap of tires to get into turn one, then you're in trouble. If they go off that quickly, it's going to be very scary. So we'll just have to play it by ear. Hope for the best, not die. That's key. Goes down by individual gallons, so that's actually good. So yeah, front four here are going to be the guys that compete on pace. We'll see what Keegan has behind us, and then the rest of the field is going to be who knows what. So appreciate you coming. Make sure you drop that like and the sub down below if you're new. I appreciate all the love and support. As always, hope the content's enjoyable. Don't do a lot of 87s, but I wanted to get a car or track combo uh, one of these in because it does sound like it's a lot of fun. 25 laps here. Won't be too terribly long. We run 115, so probably going to be 45 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit less. But, uh, yeah, we'll just have to play it by ear. I wanted to get one of these in and recorded this week because it sounds like a lot of fun. But, obviously, Nurburgring was the first priority. But finally getting around to recording this, it's the last thing i got to do this week. And then uh, uh, lots of other stuff is happening. So we'll see how this plays out. But uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm very scared. Uh, like I said a million times now, but I'm excited. So hopefully it's fun. we got people pit starting here or what? 7, 8. We're rating on 9, 10, and 14. Where are they? Mackle, Jim, I guess Dane's not here, so Mackle and Jimmy is who we're waiting on. There we go. That's what I'm trying. Still waiting on Justin Mackle. Come on, my guy. Could be going already. Two sets of tires in the pits. Again, I don't think we'll need them. We should be able to go most of the way on fuel. I'm not sure. Six car or six place starting from the pits there also. No idea how to start this car rolling start, especially on roads. So just got to play it easy, play it chill. Matthew's got that's a cool paint scheme American Airlines maybe I should get a desert gold paint scheme for this like a Southwest Airlines desert gold that'd be cool that'd be cool I'll have to think about that and look for that later that would be cool not that I run this car that much like I said ran it once at the end of last season at Darlington and now here in week 10 for this season I, I'd like to run Darlington again next season maybe VIR maybe Homestead some of the more fun slippery tracks but we'll see it is not a high priority car for me but it is fun so we'll see how this plays out Again, thanks for coming. Hope it's enjoyable. I will uh, shut up and focus here for these first couple laps, try to get in the rhythm, and uh, commentate as necessary as we go, and hope it's enjoyable, hope for the best. So I appreciate you all coming to give this a watch, and hopefully I don't make an absolute fool out of myself. So I hope Daniel's doing well. Hope he has a good result, and race cars go burr from 45 years ago. That's not, that's awful math. It's like, what, 37 years ago? That's awful math, but whatever. I love how the pace car runs over the curb, that's interesting. Never noticed that, not sure if that's a glitch or what, or if they just take the middle of the racetrack. I don't know how that works, but regardless, three cars starting from the pits. Um, 
So field's going to be pretty spread here early. Still no idea what I'm doing. Did it uncheck tires? Yes, we did. Awesome. So we'll check fuel at halfway, see if we need a pit stop. I'd assume not, but I guess I don't know. I guess I could just check the results, see if people... Hey, buddy, good luck. Have fun. I'm terrified. We lost everyone. Alright, we are ready. Let's do it. But yeah, we'll see what kind of pace everybody has here in the long run. Once we get going. Obviously don't want to slide the tires, don't want to override them at all if we can. Turn one's going to be my weak corner, which sucks because it's probably the best passing zone. Maybe this will be a passing zone down here, but it's pretty scary getting in your heart. Back to 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 check up, Charleston, check up. Go low, go low. That sucks. Sounds like we already got dead people. Alright, well, we made it through one lap. Good start. I knew I should have started from the pit. Hell yeah, I did. A couple other of us did too. A lot safer. Everything in my brain is telling me to drive harder just because I'm so used to driving like be open here or anything like that or you know a road car but you just have to be so patient so slow with this. S's, that's going to cost us a couple tenths. It's okay. Starting to spread out, especially behind fifth. So. We'll just try and take care of some tire here while we can. Front stretch, just. Why in turn one? We survived.
just not getting quite, quite as much breaking into the carousel as the guys behind are picking up three or four tenths every time in there. But again, who knows how much they're pushing compared to what I'm comfortable with, so. It's all okay. Next, first of the day. It's all right. So Matthew had a little bit of an issue there off turn one. Not sure if he spun or what happened, but he's now right back there with Marco battling for second. Helps us. They can go at it if they want. More than happy to let them do that. I think, don't think we'll need fuel here. We're making pretty good fuel mileage so far. Turn one a little bit more. Still sliding the rear end entry, so it's just going to be like that. Doing all right. Then go battle behind if they want. Cool with me. Five, you can have it. Stop left. Hey, appreciate it, buddy. Um, I thought you were doing pretty good in front of me, man. He must have had an yeah, issue man. there, so I'm he's just gotten back to fifth. He's 15 seconds back. Car, so. uh, I want to take it easy. No threat. Hey, appreciate it, buddy. Nice and easy in the T1. That's what we need right there. Perfect. Use that shift while we're already off throttle. That'll help. Not spin out in the S's, that'll help. Big slide there. Not ideal. Good gap though, three and a half seconds already, so still good. Really, really gentle in there, making sure we don't get it wrong, because that's an easy way to throw away multiple seconds right away. So, still in good shape. Focusing so hard, cause it's so difficult, so difficult. Got to be so precise, no mistakes, no slides. I don't know how Kale is so fast around here and so consistent. Some of the other guys have built Daniels very fast, others, but Billy. Just, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't have a lot of seat time, but I like to think I'm good at, you know, not making mistakes and saving tires. It's just so hard. I just can't do it. So, they're unbelievably good. Slight lift over the top of the S's there to make sure the back's in.
Blinker, that's always good for a lapper. Love to see it for Angel. Hopefully he just jumps off our way here. Isn't there very deep into the wall and dead, so I don't have to worry about that one right now at least. Double disconnects. Not sure how to pass here, so I think the track position we got from the pole is going to end up being pretty key here. So it's having a shot to hold on because I, I have no idea how you pass in this. So. Still good. We're still doing all right. Turn one's definitely the weak spot now, I guess technically breaking for the carousel. I'm losing time as well. Again, not dead is the key. Another off track there, so might as well just take it and throttle up. Which we do. I get the head back down, stay focused. go 40% of the way done still cruising still doing okay turn one continues to be scary fortunately with the short layout here another 1x damn come on fortunately with the short layout here with no chicane there's like it's one of like four corners you know so it's a huge part of the lap time is turn one but 3x again it's whatever I don't care Still frustrating to make so many little mistakes like that. Still good on fuel. Don't think we'll need a pit stop here today. Almost got that one all wrong. Lost some time. Slide in the rear in the turn one, though that's not good. It's a lot of time there. Got to back it up some more. Make sure we survive. It's sloppy. Still doing okay, though. Not going to need a bit stuff today, so that's good.
There's exit speed there quite a bit. Get it right. So easy to do, it looks like, so. Exit speed's where it's at. Slide up the S's. Big gap back to fifth, though. left so I guess maybe not Forgot to grab fourth there still good though so probably gonna lose some SR from this but it's whatever it's irrelevant I don't care we want to have a good result here is the key He's definitely a little quicker. I think Marco probably is as well. But if we don't make any mistakes, they're going to have to come run me down and pass me. So I'll try to do that. liking the brake hard downshift late theory. That's working out pretty well, so. Ten to go, ten fingers. Again, walking the thing in on the rear tires, but who knows, maybe that's better, I don't know. These lappers just get out of our way. Hopefully, as I plow the nose up the hill there. Not key, not slick. deep unintentionally just trying to miss this guy almost touched the grass that was pretty scary we're good gave up a little bit of time but we're good that was very scary actually car just walked there we're still alive though that's key matthew's definitely faster and closing in at good pace now nine to go so much better in the turn one and the carousel. It's making up a lot of time. That 
that's what I need to do there is do that. Definitely coming at high speed. Very high speed. He's got time, unfortunately. Just starting to overdrive the fronts now. Tense that lap, so it's going to be close, but he's got time. Uh, that's a good S, is actually a really good section. Hold the tenth. Again, he'll get it back here in the carousel, but it's a good section. God, just do not touch that grass. Maintain just about even there. Maybe even been slightly faster, so that was a really important lap. Just totally giving up entry at turn one at this point to try to make sure we nail a good exit, because that's what's important. Good job of it so far. Another good S's section there, actually. Happy with that. Still just sliding the rear just a little bit. This is stressful, man. This is very, very tiring, very, very physically and mentally taxing to drive this car around here at pace, no mistakes. Marco's falling off just a little bit now, lost touch. So if there's no mistakes, and I hope there's none, it's Matthew versus myself for this win. So we can hold it that way. lap where we just lost about a tenth there so that's important six to go again just gotta make him come beat me make him find the lap time to come get me Is very well as well, so may not a little bit there. Just trying not to reach too deep, trying not to get a little bit too much. Just gotta keep doing what I'm doing, not try to do anything more. Make him find the lap time to come get me. That's the key. Can be spectacular and can beat me. Five to go. A little bit of a rear slide out of there, but still pretty good. Again, just about matched. He had a rough corner exit there from the last corner. We 
We are in a great spot. Thank you, spotter crew chief guy. It's all the track at turn one. Not a great turn one like we've had the last couple laps, but good enough. Slight slide up there. He didn't make as much time that lap, though, up the hill, so. God, this is difficult. I swear, this is so stressful, so taxing physically and mentally. This is insane. I love it, but it's insane. Smooth in there. Slide the rear tires a little bit, not ideal. Make him find the half second to come beat me. That's the key. Make him find the half second lap to come beat me. Got to return one really well there that time he did. Okay. Got through there really well that time. Of course, every bit he gets closer, not only is he going to start getting arrow push, he'll also get a draft, and he'll get a little hungrier knowing he's making lap time. So, every little bit he can close in is good for him. There, scruffy lap for me so far. This one that retires big time, just trying to get a good exit. He ran a great lap that time again, not a great final corner, but. He did his job there, that lap made up the time. I slide entry to one just a little bit, gonna hurt us. A couple tenths. Decent enough S's there. Just about broke even. Again, he's gonna eat us up down here. It's okay though. Any of this traffic in two laps. Again, down to 1.4. Marco is really starting to come back, yes, as I think I've burned my tires off, and I think Matthew has a little bit as well. 1.4, two to go, popsicle sticks. Better turn one entry that time, not perfect, but we got stopped, got turned in. I think we're going to catch on hell here for one final obstacle in the last lap. One point two. Another decent next out of there. All right, come on, Justin. Our head has gone very deep in there, put in the fence, so that allows us not to have to race with that guy. 1.2. 1 1.1. He's all over us. He's so much faster. One to go. Credit one bank. Come on, Justin. 1.2 is our gap. Nice and smooth through one. That's going to be the key. 
Very conservative on their braking very early. Get the thing stopped, turned in nice and smooth. Roll good exit, 1.3. Nose turned in, good. Upshift, good. Direction change, good. One second. All over us. It's going to have a sniff from that far back. Just a little bit of a toe. One second. Carousel, we got all wrong. <laughs> Nine tenths, eight tenths. Seven tenths. Two corners. Come on, Justin. Get these right. Big time rear wheel slide. He's all over us. Six tenths. Awesome race, guys. That was an absolute blast. Matthew, you are way too damn good at this. Yeah, man, good race. Good race. Huh. Hey, nice win, dude. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Picked up those four X's in, like, consecutive laps at turn one. Three of them were in the middle of the race, but... Good race, guys. Uh, good win, Justin. Whew. Good race to Daniel. Glad he was able to survive in fourth place. That was a lot of fun. That was so much fun. Like, I, I hate it, and I'm still terrified, and I'm still shaking, but we did it. Whew. We made it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, nice battle you, Justin. Good clean race, buddy. 87s. Check. Off the list. Whew. That was so much fun. We did not need a pit stop. I wasn't even sure, but it wasn't even really that close. Got a third of a tank left. Quarter tank left. Whew. That was so much fun. Like, that was terrifying and crazy and stressful. But that was so much fun. Like, that was honestly so fun. We'll have to check our tires. Good race, man. Good race. There we go. It is official. Pole to win. Lead all 25. 4X along the way. Go find a scheme as well. Man, these cars are a handful to drive. That is the truth, Patrick. That is the truth. Tires. 76 left front, 79 left rear. So, that's a pretty good wear. I mean, it wasn't too awful by any means. 4x for me, 2 for Marco, 0 for Matthew, so he ran a perfect race. Uh, just came up 6 tenths short. I guess uh, the Q lap in that track position early allowed us to build that gap. He made that one mistake early, slid, cost him a couple seconds. But uh, that was it, and uh, that's that's how these things go. So let's see the race results. I uh, didn't lose any SR, which is good. Plus 41 ironing, love to see it, up over 2,700 on the road. So we did run the best lap, actually. We ran probably too hard at the beginning, <laughs> overdrove the car, but we survived, and that's all that matters. So we'll take that. Um, very happy with that. We'll get that 87's first victory in attempt number two after Darlington, and looking forward to be back in the car. So that's going to be it. That's it for the week for me. Hope everybody has a great Tuesday, and I will continue to try to pump out good content next week that you'll see in the coming days, and we'll keep rocking. So that's going to be it. Till next time, as always, I right, bye.